Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. In today's show, I have five players the Raiders could cut on offense before the 2019 regular season. And then guess what? A little bit later in the week, I'm going to give five players that the Raiders could cut on defense here at the Raiders Report. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. The first player that I want to dive into, wide receiver Ryan Grant. Now, Grant signed a one-year, $1 million contract with the Raiders, which included a $100,000 signing bonus. Now, $100,000 was guaranteed. Now, he could earn a base salary of $805K, but here's the thing. A lot of his deal is not guaranteed, and if the Raiders cut Ryan Grant, you could save $1.15 million. Okay, because when you look at incentives, you look at all the money they could potentially earn, he could potentially earn $1.25 million. Now, he's already behind J.J. Nelson on the depth chart, and he's already behind Hunter Renfro on the depth chart. So, which is why I'm saying that he could be a player the Raiders could potentially cut. Now, when you look at the Raiders wide receiver depth chart, he is listed right now behind Hunter Renfro, who they went out and they took in the 2019 NFL draft, and he's going to make 573 k Like... Yes, it's not a lot of money, but when you look at the production that Ryan Grant has done the last four years, it's nothing to get excited about. Like, 35 catches, 45 catches the last two years. If you're telling me right now, Ryan Grant's going to give us exactly 35 catches in 2019, and we're going to pay him over a million dollars, one, I'm going to say, what the hell happened to Hunter Renfro? Two, what happened to J.J. Nelson? Yeah, I'd be definitely panicking a little bit. So, when I think that there's a wide receiver that's going to get cut, I'll say this. I do believe either Ryan Grant or J.J. Nelson will be cut by the Oakland Raiders. So, which one should they cut? Type J.J. for J.J. Nelson or R.G. for Ryan Grant. So, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, I'm watching. Which wide receiver should the Raiders cut? Now, I want to give a special shout-out to today's sponsor, Bet the Aside, the Internet's number one sports book. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use my promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. If you want to bet on the NBA playoffs, you can do it at Bet the Aside. You want to bet on the NHL playoffs, guess what? You can do it at Bet the Aside. If you want to bet on if the Raiders are going to win the Super Bowl, you can do it at Bet the Aside. It's chatsports.com slash bet. The second player that I think that the Raiders could cut on offense is running back. DeAndre Washington. Now, if you watch my rumors segment, you probably knew that he was going to be on this list. The Raiders, they went out and drafted Josh Jacobs in the first round. They went out and they brought back Doug Martin. Heck, they signed Isaiah Crowell before his injury, obviously. Now, he's in the last year of his contract, and I'll say this. I like DeAndre Washington when he was coming out of Texas Tech. Thought he was a pretty good running back. But if you cut Washington, it's going to save 720 k It's not a lot of money, but when you consider the fact that he's the fifth running back on our depth chart, I think maybe we should look at get rid of this guy. I think Josh Jacobs is by far the best running back. Jalen Richard is the pass catcher. Chris Warren is the player that you all want to be really good. And then I still think Doug Martin, who led the team last year in carries and rushing yards. Why are we going to keep DeAndre Washington? And also, when you look to see what this guy has done the last three years, his numbers have gone down every single year. His rookie year, 104 touches. Second year, 91 touches. Last year, 11 touches. Why am I going to pay a guy all this money? If you're telling me I can save 720 k or get a running back with 11 touches, come on. It's pretty simple. So, should the Raiders cut DeAndre Washington? I want to know from everybody watching. I want you to type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm going to unbutton my coat because I'm getting warm here, all right? Should the Raiders cut DeAndre Washington? Y for yes or N for no. Third player that I think that the Raiders could cut on offense before the 2019 regular season, tight end Derek Carrier. Funny note here. Uh... Producer Harris thought that I uh, put Derek Carr and put the wrong picture. So uh, that was pretty funny. Now, the Raiders, they went out and drafted Foster Moreau in the fourth round. And the other thing when I look at Carrier, now some of you guys are going to be like, hey, Mitch, tight end is a major need for us. And you're right. You're, you're totally right. But if we can save $1.7 million by cutting Carrier, because the dude is scheduled to make $1.7 million. So we have a zero cap hit, okay? And if he played in only 22% of the team snaps last year, again, I get it. Jared Cook was there. But if he's the third tight end on our depth chart, and he's making more money than Waller, than Moreau, and even Luke Wilson, I don't understand why we're going to pay a tight end who saw 12 targets last year $1.7 million. 
Doesn't make sense to me. Seven catches, 67 yards, and a touchdown. That's what you want to pay $1.7 million? If that's all it takes to get $1.7, give me a helmet, give me some pads, give me somebody's cup. I'm going out on the field right now. So, should the Raiders cut Derek Carrier, save $1.7 million? I think you know how I'm feeling about this. I'm typing four for Believe It Baby. I 100% think that the Raiders should cut Derek Carrier. They need to move on. I get that it's a major need for the Raiders still tight end. But I'm looking at saving money. Why don't we do this? Crazy idea. Cut Carrier. Cut all these guys on today's show. And go out and get Kyle Rudolph when the Vikings release him. What do you think about that? If you're typing zero for tuck rule, tuck that. I'm giving you a zero for tuck rule, tuck that. Make sure you subscribe to the Raiders Report on YouTube. The number one Raiders channel on YouTube. At YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. We got new backgrounds here. We're doing all sorts of awesome stuff. Heck, I'm wearing a new shirt. That's what happens when you get some upgrades around the studio when you're gone to Cancun. So shout out to the, everyone who uh, helps make the Raiders Report as fun as what it is. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. Try not to plug myself this entire show. All right, number four, Brandon Parker. We got to get rid of him, right? Well, he was selected in the third round of the 2018 NFL Draft. That sounded weird. 2018 NFL Draft. Did I say that right? Sure. Okay. PFF, they ranked him as the second worst offensive tackle in 2018 last year. Guess what? That's not very good. He allowed 43 pressures on 490 pass blocking snaps. The worst in the NFL. When the Raiders, now, you consider they gave up 52 sacks last year, gave up 42 the year before that, or previous two years. I'm a little bit worried about Brandon Parker because this is the one biggest thing, okay? Brandon Parker was a project. When you drafted Parker in the third round, it was a project. The issue is, if you hand a project to a man who has no idea with what he's doing, that's not good. So you guys know that I don't like Tom Cable. Hashtag FCs in the comment section. Brandon Parker, I think, has some upside, but we unfortunately don't have the offensive line coach to get the out, the utmost, um, I don't know, out of Parker. And now considering the fact that Colt Miller has switched to left tackle and Trent Brown is now at right tackle, that means Parker is behind Brown. I can almost guarantee you he's not playing over Trent Brown. So, considering all that, he's still going to have to fight for his position with Tyler Romer, who they signed as an undrafted free agent. He's going to have to compete with David Sharp. Like, he's going to have to compete with Murray. He's going to have to compete with all these players. And considering how bad he was last year, I'm just saying, yes, it doesn't save us a lot of money to cut him, but it really wouldn't surprise me if the Raiders ultimately cut him. So, next question on today's show. Should the Raiders cut? Brandon Parker. I want you to type C for cut or type K for keep. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, C for cut, K for keep. Yes, I did take sign language in high school. I want to give a special shout out to Raider Nation on Instagram for everybody who interacts with me on a daily basis on IG. So if you see your name up here, take a screenshot, send it, put it on IG, and I'll share it on my personal account as well. But I also want to give a special shout out to the people on Twitter because I love me some IG and Twitter interaction. So if you see your name on here on Twitter, take a screenshot, tag me, and uh, I'll make sure to retweet. I'll make sure to share on my IG and on Twitter. Now, why am I giving shout-outs to IG and Twitter? Because these people actually slid in my DMs because recently I've been putting out there, hey, if you guys want an NFL jersey, uh, I might be able to hook you up. So DM me on IG or on Twitter if you want a free jersey. Does that sound pretty good? Yeah, do you guys know my IG, Twitter? At Mitchell Renz 365, couldn't do it. DM me on IG or Twitter <laughs> at Mitchell Renz 365. All right, the last guy that could potentially get cut. It's Keith Smith. Now, I like Keith Smith. He's a good player. Signed a two-year, $3 million deal last year. This season, he's scheduled to make $1.5 million. Again, I like Keith Smith, but he played in only 15.45% of the team snaps last year. I don't really want to pay a fullback who played in only 15% of the snaps, $1.5 million, when if we cut him, we can save $1.5 million. And Alec Ingle, the Raiders, they went out and signed an undrafted free agent, Alec Ingle out of Wisconsin. And this guy is a Gruden grinder. And I say that a lot on this show, but this dude is an unbelievable athlete. Heck, high school player of the year. He was a high school wrestler. Probably the most popular kid in high school. I mean, you could argue, probably say... Alec Ingold, he tommed a whole bunch in high school. But when I think about what he could potentially do for the Raiders, if it could save us all this money, why not put him out there in pads? And plus, when you go out, you get AB, you go out and get Tyrell Williams, you're building around Derek Carr. I think the offense is going to be a lot more spread out than what we had last year. So, Key Smith, you're getting snipped. 
That's me. I'm typing my one for yes. But what do you guys think? Because you know. Show. Not about me. Should the Raiders cut Keith Smith? One for yes. Type two for no. Now, who are the five players I think the Raiders should cut on offense? Well, guess what? Ryan Grant saves $1.15 million. DeAndre Washington saves 720 k Derek Carrier, $1.7 million. Brandon Parker only saves 137 k but when you're as bad as what he was last year, <laughs> worse than the NFL, guess what? You should probably get cut. Keith Smith, this one, if we cut him, saves $1.5 million. Let's cut up all these players. Let's go out and get ourselves a tight end like Kyle Rudolph. Who says no? Yeah, exactly. Make sure you guys subscribe to YouTube.com slash Raidersport, the number one Raiders channel on YouTube. That one's for Chucky Heads because of Raider Nation. Because guess what? There is only one nation, and that's Raider Nation. Subscribe, YouTube.com slash Raidersport. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news. Rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.